Hello, beautiful family in Yahshua HaMashiach, from Iraq, North America, South America, India. Uh, I have, I'm forgetting a country, I think, so I apologize for that. Today's devotional is the exact words spoken by our Messiah, our Master, our Adonai, Yahshua HaMashiach. When the Word became flesh and dwelt among us some 2,000 years ago. And what an exciting time it's going to be when we see Him face to face and actually speak to Him. It's going to be so beautiful. And it's coming, guys. It's coming. Every day that goes by is one day very, very faster. It's the fast and the furious. We are approaching fast and furiously. Well, actually, he's supposed to. He, he's getting ready to oppose. He's getting ready to approach us fast and furiously and deliver us from the cesspool of. I don't even know what to call it anymore. To tell you the truth. January thirty first devotional. The, from the Gospel of John, chapter four, sixteen through eighteen. Go, call your husband and come here. You have well said, I have no husband, for you had had five husbands, and the one you whom you have now is not your husband, and that you in that in that you spoke truly. One of the greatest revelations any of us can ever have is that God has numbered every hair on our sinful heads and every thought in our human hearts. As Christians, this is a wonderful consolation. But for the ungodly, <laughs> the omniscience of God should make them tremble because every time they sin, they are literally storing up his wrath. The psalmist describes divine omniscience as this. This is from Psalm 139, 1-4. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is, for there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. In conclusion, let's live today like every moment we're aware of his presence. That he's right next to us because he truly is he's omniscient omnipotent and he's sovereign all-powerful everywhere at the same time and everything everything is under his control because this is his earth this is his creation we belong to him and we were purchased by a price and that's why we get to go up. And that's why we get to go up, guys. Anyone, anyone who believes in the blood of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sin, your sins, the sins of the world, he was the sacrificial lamb, the Passover lamb that took away the sins of the world. For those who believe, and we have been cleansed of all of our unrighteousness by the blood of the lamb. Once we believe, we are justified in God's eyes, declared innocent in a court of law by the righteous judge, and there's only one righteous judge. And after that, the sanctification process begins because he puts his spirit, his Ruach HaKodesh, inside of us. And what a beautiful gift that is. I can think of no more beautiful gift than that. And he who started a good work inside of you will see it to completion on the day of Christ Jesus. Justification, belief in the gospel message. What is the gospel message? That Jesus Christ came here about 2,000 years ago. He preached the repentance for sins. Because back then people were just doing whatever. Kind of like today. But back then, they weren't in school. They weren't told 
Oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. And that's why all these laws came up, you know? Kind of, kind of like to lead these people. Because these people were totally lost. And um, it's it was, they were like in pre-K, you know? And God is their teacher. That's why the law is a schoolmaster, right? The law was a schoolmaster. So he came, the son of God, God incarnate. He became flesh, and the flesh dwelt among us. And the world didn't even recognize its own. Around age 30 years old, he began his ministry, which only lasted two years, but obviously it changed the entire world. Because by nature, the unborn man, not the born again man, but the unborn, is a suppressor of the truth. By nature, before you're born again, you are a suppressor of the truth. And it's the truth that will set you free. And give you ears to hear and eyes to see the beautiful things that God has in store for you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has the human mind prepared itself for what God is doing for those that love Him. And He loves you so much. It's unfathomable. I can't even describe it. No one can. No one can, but just be very, very blessed that he loves you so much. And he is our refuge, and he will get us through when we're finally called to go home, to be with our, to be with him first and foremost, and bask in his countenance and his light, just to see him smile. Isn't that gonna be beautiful? To touch his hands, I'm going to do a three-way hug with me and my children, for sure, without a doubt. <laughs> it's going to be so beautiful, guys, so beautiful. Hang on to your blessed hope, because sometimes some people, that's all they have is their blessed hope. When they wake up in the morning, it's just their blessed hope. That's what gets them through the whole day. So... Just remember, he sees it all. And it's all about belief. You believe, he pretty much takes care of the rest. And remember, Spiritual warfare is intense, but you can sh you can shred the enemy into pieces, slash the enemy into pieces with the spirit of the sword, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's why it's important to stay in the word and stop looking at all these YouTube videos, including mine. Well, mine are kind of short, but you know what I'm saying? I had to physically tell myself that. And now I'm going back through the whole Bible again. And I encourage you to do it as well. If God is putting it on your heart to go through the entire Bible again, then just do it. Remember the prophet Jeremiah said, My people perish because of their lack of knowledge. He also said that these people, their lips are close to me, but their hearts are far away from me. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. 
Jesus, our wonderful Savior, who laid down his life for us, he said, when the Son of Man comes back to this world, will he find any faith? The answer is yes. But compared to the entire 8 billion population, and the Bible saying that narrow is the road that leads to everlasting life, and few find it, Don't ever let anyone steal that crown of yours. And they won't. They won't. Remember, because Yahuwah, the God of Israel, the God of our salvation is for us, who can be against us? It's as simple as that. I love you guys. Have a beautiful Shabbat Shalom. And... If I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll see you um, in the clouds.